what's up everyone? Welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm your host, Melissa New, with my co-host here, Mr. Chase Reynolds Hi. of Lens Rentals. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Let's just talk as if Mr. Joe McNally is not sitting right next Ooh. to us. Please carry on. <laughs> I'll just, I can go to sleep standing up. Good. So this is early issue. in the morning. It is. Are you bringing your feisty this early in the morning? We'll see, Melissa. It depends on how good you are. Oh, okay. So well, yes. game face on. <laughs> we want to talk about gear. So you just mentioned that you the Nikon D4 was your main workhorse for a while, and mm -hmm. you've now moved up to the Nikon D4S. Yes. Um, so when you see those my, those small improvements in each new camera model, just out of curiosity, what are, the, what are some things that you're excited about seeing maybe in future camera models? Ooh, good question. Good question. Yeah. Uh, you know, to me, the responsiveness of a camera, I didn't say that particularly well, responsiveness, you know, mm -hmm. um, not only accuracy and all those things that you come to expect from, you know, a higher end digital camera, but to me, it has to feel fluid and, and you know, I have to be able to to move autofocus, for instance, in a fluid fashion. I have to know the buttons and dials and, and be able to move them quickly. So for me, my muscle memory is wrapped around that style of camera. So the things I look for now are those kinds of elements of being quick and intuitive. Mm -hmm. The things I would look for in the future is certainly an enlarging of the autofocus area. Okay. You still uh, have, you still have, if you're going to extremely compose, if you're going to get somebody to the edge of the frame, well, then you got to basically, you know, lock your autofocus, recompose, still go through those machinations. I would love the fluidity and the immediacy of having autofocus reach out into the the depths of the sensor, you know, the field yeah. area that you're looking through. Get it a little bit broader so you could compose in a slightly more radical fashion and not have to make that split second oh, ad adjustment. Ah. That would be, I think, awesome. Uh, I'm sure somebody's working on it someplace. If no. not, you better be listening out there, mm -hmm. Icon Academy. Well, Joe, tell us where we can find your work. For people who have not seen Joe's work, I would definitely check it out. What is your website? Uh, www.midnighttatler.com. No, okay. <laughs> I knew You're from it. Vegas. I knew it. Something. <laughs> you never know if you're serious. You just <laughs> never know. I'm just... M-I-D. I'm going to go with JoeMcNally.com. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. go with the obvious here. Yeah, JoeMcNally.com. I write a blog, JoeMcNally.com backslash blog. Uh, we have, in, in terms of gear, there's a, a, a you know, a hot link on my blog, uh, Joe's Camera Bag. Just click on that. Nice. Basically everything that we use or are current with, that's right there on those pages. Excellent, and it, definitely check out his work, but I am a big fan of his writing. And it's interesting to find out that you were gonna be a writing major, or that's what you studied. So he has such a brilliant way of writing, has such a good way of teaching, and really puts things into um, good perspective and really something that I can relate with. So thank you for all that you put into your, your work and your writing. And we talked a lot about gear, D800, D810, lots of lenses. I definitely check out the folks over at Lens Rentals. Chase is a great guy, his team is working hard. You know, you don't have to buy all these things. Not everyone has the Joe McNally budget, but definitely check out lensrentals.com and, and try out some of these gear. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. No sarcastic yeah. remarks to, to close out. No, I just it's just been swell to see you again, it's Melissa. It's been so <laughs> swell, Joe.